Jeremiah chapter 48. We've been talking about Jeremiah's messages from God to the nations against Moab. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Notice how it's God of Israel, God of Israel, God of Israel. What you going to do when you come against America? It's the God of Israel. Woe unto Nebo, for it is spoiled. That means people going in there taken. You know, Afghanistan just spoiled America. Taliban went in there and took all the things that were Americans. Here you see, man, them is confounded and taken. Misgab is confounded and dismayed. So, conquering. Moab is one of the sons of Lot. There shall be no praise in Moab. In Hedgeman, they have devised evil against it. I don't know who that it is. Hedgeman? Moab? Come! And let us cut it off from being a nation. Well, that it would be the nation of Israel. Because the nations don't want Israel to be a nation. Also thou shall be cut down, O madman. <laughs> madman. That's an interesting name. The sword shall pursue thee. A voice of crying shall be from Haranam, spoiling and great destruction. You see, the, you see the, the, the takeover, the military takeover, the loss? Moab is destroyed. Her little ones have caused a cry to be heard. For in the group up of Lithith, continual weeping shall go up, misery, dread. For in the going down of Hanarnam, the enemies have heard a cry of destruction. Flee, save your lives, and be like the heath in the wilderness. For because thou hast trusted in thy works and in thy treasures, thou shalt also be taken. And Chemish shall go forth into captivity with his priests and his princes together. That's a false, that's a false god. There's a god that's got priests. And the spoiler shall come upon every city of Moab, and no city shall escape. The valley also shall perish, and the plain be destroyed, all land masses, as the Lord has spoken, and what the Lord speaks. Give wings unto Moab. That it may flee and get away. Now God says about Israel, give her wings for the place I prepared for her. Revelation 12. For the cities thereof shall be desolate without any to dwell therein. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. Oh, look at that in the middle of this. Anybody who is involved with the work of God. And it does it deceitfully. The Bible says curse. Now what's that have to do with the middle of Moab? And curse it be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. We've been talking about military campaign. We've been talking about battles. And anybody that spares Moab. Woe be to them. Moab had been at ease from his youth. He has settled on his lees. That's, that's the segment. I remember in science, we would do an experiment that our, our teacher would get a, a, a jar of water and put dirt and sand and just fill. And he would shake that thing up. And then we give it about a week and we'd go back and see all the stuff that settled to the bottom. 
That's what that is. Lee. The scum at the bottom. And has not emptied from vessel to vessel. They haven't cleaned it out. It's got worse and worse. When you got a gas can, every once in a while, it'd be good just to clean out that gas can. If you keep using and keep using and keep using the sedimentation to the bottom, you don't want that in your gas tank. Because it, then it goes into your car. Neither has he gone into captivity. Therefore, the taste remaineth in him. What's the taste? That, that gross at the bottom. And his scent, the smell at the bottom. Is not changed. All right. Pretty much, you're, you're talking about a wine. You're talking about a plant product, olive oil, wine, and all the sedimentation. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord. I will send unto him wanderers. They shall cause him to wander, and shall empty his vessel. And break the bottle. There's that sediment. And Moab shall be ashamed of Chemist. That's the fallen God. That's the God of Moab. And the house of Israel was ashamed of Bethel. Remember the golden calves? The one in Bethel, the one in Dan. You know, all the golden calves of America. How say ye, we are mighty and strong men of war. That's what America says. That's what Europe, that's what England used to say. That's what Germany and the Nazi party used to say. That's what Alexander the Great would say. That's what the Babylonians would say. And where are they today? Moab is spoiled again, gone up out of her cities, and his chosen young men are gone down to slaughter, save the capital K king, whose name is the Lord of hosts, that's Jesus. That's God. No, that's Jehovah Witnesses. And if Jesus the king, capital K, Moab is going to survive to the second advent. Because that's when Jesus is king. He's not king in the Old Testament. So there are Moabites around today. And when the king comes back, then he's going to... The calamity of Moab is near to come, his affliction. Or excuse me, his affliction has fast. All ye that about him, all in the area, bemoan him, and all ye that know his name, say, How is the strong strap broken? The beautiful rock. Thou daughter that doeth inhabit Didon. Come down from thy glory and sit in thirst. No water. For the spoiler of Moab shall come upon thee, and he shall destroy thy stronghold, uh, fences, cities, armories. And having an aurora, stand by the way and spy. Spies. Ask him that fleeth. And heard that escape and say, what is done? Moab is confounded, for he broken down. Howl and cry, tell ye in Arnon that Moab is spoiled, taken down. Judgment is come upon the plain country, upon Holon, upon Jahaza, and upon Metha, upon Dibon, upon Nebo, and upon Beth Dibaliah. Utter destruction. This Wiped out upon Curzon and Beth Gelmo and Beth Neon. Upon Kerioth. That name interesting? Kerioth. Judas Iscariot, a man of Kerioth. 
Judas is, is part Moabite. And Basra. See, I know places in Connecticut named Basra. Upon the cities of the land of Moab, far and near. The horn, the strength of Moab is cut off. Check that cutting off with the horn and all that with Daniel. Then up pops the Antichrist. His arm is broken. That's the Antichrist. Carry a verse 24 and, and the horn is cut off and the arm is broken with Daniel and with other parts of the scripture in the Bible. That's the Antichrist. It's quite possible you're going to have a Moabite Jew as the Antichrist. Do you know that the line of David has Jewish and Moabite? Ruth was a Moabite. Saith the Lord, make him drunken. So one of the signs of being drunken nation is you're just defiling God and God's against you. For he magnified himself against the Lord. That's what Paul says in Thessalonians. The man of sin. That's what Daniel says. Moab shall wallow in his vomit. And he also shall be in desertion. For was not Israel in desertion unto thee? It was. Was he found among thieves? Jesus was a thief to the right and a thief to the left. For since thou spakest of him, thou skip for joy. Moab was pleased when Babylon came in. Edom turned Israel over to the Babylonians. You see, those, kin those kindred of Israel don't like Israel. O oh, ye that dwell in Moab, leave the cities, get out, dwell in the rock, and be like the dove that maketh their nest in the sides of the whole mouth. But that ain't going to protect you from God. We have heard the pride of Moab in America, and he's exceedingly proud as America. His loftiness, his arrogancy, and his pride, America. And the haughtiness of his heart, America. You know, we have a missile in America called Moab. I know his wrath, saith the Lord. But it shall not be so. His lies shall not so affect it. America is full of lies. Therefore will I howl for Moab. I will cry out for all Moab. My heart shall mourn for the men. Of Kerhuris. O vine of Simna. People. I will weep for thee with the weeping of Jazer. Thy plants go over the sea. Spreading out. They reach under the sea of Jazer. The spoil is fallen upon thy summer fruits. Upon thy vengeance. And joy and gladness is taken from the plentiful field. Harvest time. No joy in the harvest. The land of Moab. I have caused wine to fail from thy wine. God has stopped the growing of plants. There's no grapes. There's no harvest. There's no joy. That time of the wine and the grapes was a joyful time. At the end of the barley harvest, Boaz and all the people were celebrating. None shall tread. With shouting of joy. Their shouting shall be no shouting. So the shouting of joy is gone. But they're going to shout. But not of joy. But of turmoil and crisis. And defeat. Of, from this cry of Heshman. Even to Elilad. Even to Jehaz. Have they uttered their voice from Zoar. Even to Haranim. As a heifer three years old. For the waters of Nimrod shall be desolate. No one there. 
nor I will cause to cease in Moab, saith the Lord. Him that offers in the high places religion, seeking God, and him that burneth incense to his gods. Therefore my heart shall sound for Moab like pipes. My heart shall sound like pipes for the men of Curry. Because the riches, America's rich, that he has gotten are perished. For every head shall be bald. They, they shave their heads at death. We read about this the other night. Every beard clipped. Upon all the hands shall be cuttings for the deaf, tattooing, penance, bringing about blood, upon loins of sackcloth, repentance, true, dis dismare. There shall be lamentation, there you go, generally upon the housetops of Moab. And in the streets thereof, no more joy, no more where America is going to go one day. For I have broken Moab like a vessel, wherein is no pleasure, or a nation of pleasure, entertainment. But it's not a pleasure to God, because God's not willing that any should perish. God doesn't want to do this. Moab did it to himself, saith the Lord. They shall howl. Saying, how is it broken down? How has Moab turned the back with shame? So shall Moab be in derision and dismay to all them about him. For thus saith the Lord, behold, he shall fly as an eagle. He shall spread his wings over Moab. Chariot is taken. Strongholds are surprised. Surprise attack. The mighty men's hearts of Moab at the day shall be as the heart of a woman in pain. And that I told you that women of pangs is a reference to tribulation. Moab shall be destroyed from being a people. Because he has magnified himself against the Lord. What do you think America's doing? What do you think Adolf Hitler did? What do you think Russia has done? And the Chinese? Fear in the pit and snare. Snare is a trap. Shall be upon thee, O inhabitant Moab, saith the Lord. He that flees from fear. That's anxiety. I'm going to go run to my psychiatrist. Shall fall into the pit. Yeah, you're going to go broke with the medications. You're going to spend your... You're going to lay down on the couch and spend your money just to yak, yak, yak. He ain't listening to you. And for some psychiatrists, you may be the reason that that psychiatrist is going to another psychiatrist. It can't be healthy to sit there all day long and listen to people's problems. That can't be healthy. Up out of the pit. He gets out of the pit. He shall be taken in a snare, a trap. Uh, uh, I got victory over, over all the medications my doctor put me on. And then you fall into something else. For I will bring it. Even upon Moab the year their visitation. And many churches call that time when they go out. Whatever they do once a week. They call it visitation. Have they not studied the Bible? Have they not seen what visitation is in the Bible? saith the Lord. They that fled stood under the shadow of Hedgeman. 
because of the force. May the force be with you. And one day Satan's going to open up to all his people and say, World, I'm your father. But God's my father. No, Luke, I'm your father. You are your father, the devil. But a fire shall come forth out of Hedgeman. They're going to destroy it with flames. And a flame from the midst of Sihon. And shall devour the corner of Moab. And the crown of the head of the tumultuous ones. Now as it says head. But it says ones plural. Woe be unto thee, O Moab, the people of Kamish, that's that fallen God, perishes. Fallen gods are going to perish one day, as men will perish in the rejection of Jesus Christ. For thy sons are taken captives, and thy daughters captive. Yet I will bring again the captivity of Moab, Oh, in the latter days. Why? Why is there a deliverance of Moab when God said, I'm just angry with you? Because the great, 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 grandmother of Jesus Christ was a Moabite. Yes. Moabites are in the family of Jesus Christ. They are in the family of David. Save the Lord. Thus, thus far is the judgment of Moab. Quite interesting. 